Welcome to Monday Morning Minute, I'm Lorraine Jordan. Today's topic is septic systems. Not the most glamorous subject, but a fact of life if you're living in a rural area and aren't connected to a municipal sewage system. A septic system, or septic tank, is a watertight compartment made of concrete, fiberglass, PVC, or plastic through which wastewater is directed for primary treatment. After the wastewater has been treated, it flows into a septic drain field, which further filters the water. To function well, the system must be designed to work with the number of bedrooms in the home, the size of the home, the layout of the site, and the composition of the soil that will handle the septic field. The two main items that dictate the size and design of a septic system in Ontario are the maximum daily flow rate and soil and site conditions. To calculate your daily flow rate, the Ontario Building Code implies that for every bedroom, two people could be living in the home. Average daily use per person is estimated at 275 litres, so the maximum daily flow could be around 550 litres per bedroom. If your home has more than five bedrooms, you will need to consult a professional engineer. In addition to the number of bedrooms, you will need to determine the number of fixtures such as sinks, toilets, showers, bathtubs and dishwashers. If the total fixture count is greater than 20, then 50 litres per additional unit will need to be added to the bedroom rate. If you're purchasing a vacant rural lot, you will need to have a septic system installed to accommodate the size of house and the bathrooms you're planning to build. As each septic system is different, there is no set price for having a septic system installed, but they typically vary between six and $12,000. Soil type, level of underground water, and the size of the home, as well as the type of septic system and engineering costs, all factor in on the total price of your septic system. It's much cheaper to build in sandy soil than on rock, and a large six bedroom home will obviously be much more expensive than a small cottage. Additional factors include the installation costs, the proximity of the necessary materials to your building site. So if you're planning on building on an island or another very remote location, expect to pay more for transportation and with waterfront properties there are additional requirements which must be met to comply with local bylaws and wetland regulations. In some parts of Ontario, a qualified engineer and septic system contractor will be required to get the necessary health and sanitary permits, appropriate excavation at the site, and permission or approval from local building or planning officials, and all septic systems must meet the Ontario Building Code. The best way to get an accurate idea of prices is to contact a reputable company for a quote. It's also important to ask for references and proof of liability insurance, and be sure to get a guarantee or warranty on the materials and workmanship as well. Once your septic system has been installed, it is wise to have it inspected and pumped on a regular basis to ensure a problem-free system that functions efficiently for the long term. Check with installers and ask if they offer a maintenance program. For information and referrals to one of our trusted contractors, check us out at teamjordan.ca.